order of operations with decimals with me, Catherine. Here are the practice problems that I'm going to be working through in this video. One idea is that you work them yourselves and then watch the video to check your solutions. Or you could just work them as I work them. Remember, you can fast forward through the video to see any of the problems that you want to see. So let's get started. Simplify using the order of operations. Round your answer to the nearest hundredth if necessary. So let's get started. Remember that orders of operations say that we have to do multiplication before addition and subtraction. So let's do that first. We're going to multiply these two together. Now remember when we multiply, we don't have to line up the decimals. But in this case, they just happen to line up, which is okay. So let's multiply. 9 times 1 is 9, 1 times 9 is 9, add a 0, 2 times 9 is 18, 2 times 9 is 18, plus 1 is 19, almost forgot that one. Add down 9, 17, 10, 20, awesome! But we're not done yet, because remember, we have to count our place values. So this is telling me I have to move two places in my answer. 1, 2. Great. So now we have 26.4 minus 20.79. Okay. If I was going to read this, I'd actually say 26 and 4 tenths minus 20 and 79 hundredths. Cool. Well, it's the only thing left, so let's do it. In this case, we do have to line up our decimals because remember, adding or subtracting, we need to line them up. In this case, I need to add a 0, so let's get started. I can't take 0 minus 9, so I have to borrow 10 minus 9 is 1. I can't take 3 minus 7, so I need to borrow. 13 minus 7 is 6. Bring down my decimal. 5 minus 0 is 5. 2 minus 2 is 0. So it turns out our answer is 5.61. Now let's look at the question. It says round the answer to the nearest hundredths. Well, our answer is to the nearest hundredths. So this is our final solution. Awesome. Simplify using the order of operations. Round your answer to the nearest hundredth if necessary. In this one, we know that we have to do what's in parentheses first. So let's do that on the side. We have 11.6 minus 6.7. Now you see, I well, tried to line up my decimals, there we go. Let's subtract. I can't take 6 minus 7, so I have to borrow. 16 minus 7 is 9. Bring down my decimal. I can't take 0 minus 6, so I have to borrow again. 10 minus 6 is 4. So let's put that in there. 4.9 plus 4.9 times 11.6. Orders of operations say I have to multiply before I add or subtract. So I need to do this next. We'll have 4.9 times 11.6. Well, it's a little easier to write it the other way. 11.6 times 4.9. They're going to give us the same answer. Remember, we don't have to line up our decimals when we multiply. It just so happens they line up in this case. So let's do it. 9 times 6 is 54. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 5 is 14. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 1 is 10. Add a 0. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. And then 4 times 1 is 4. We're going to add straight down. So we have 4, 8, 6, and 5. We can't forget, count our places. We have two places, so I'm going to move 1, 2. Okay, so let's put that in. We still have 4.9 plus, but now we have 56.84. Only thing left now is to add them. 4.9 plus 56.84. Remember, we have to line up the decimals. We, we don't have a choice, we have to do it. Since we're adding, we don't necessarily have to put the zeros in, but let's do it anyway. So let's add. Zero plus four is four. 9 plus 8 is 17, bring down our decimal, 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 1 is 11, and 5 plus 1 is 6. So it turns out we have 
61.74. Now let's look at our question again. Round your answer to the nearest hundredths if necessary. Well, it turns out that it's already to the nearest hundredths. So that's my answer. Cool. Simplify using the order of operations. With this one, we know that we have to do the exponent first. So let's do that. 1.3 squared means 1.3 times 1.3. 3 times 3 is 9. 1 times 3 is 3. Add a 0. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 1 is 1. We're going to add straight down so we have 9, 6, 1. But remember, we have to count our place values. So we're going to move 1, 2. Cool. So let's rewrite it. 7.8 minus 2.5 plus 1.69. Now orders of operations say we add and subtract from left to right. So we have to subtract first because we always start from the left. So let's do it. 7.8 minus 2.5. 8 minus 5 is 3. Bring down my decimal. 7 minus 2 is 5. Cool. So let's rewrite it. 5.3 plus 1.69. All right. So the only thing left is to add. So let's do that. 5.3 plus 1.69. Once again, I have to line up my decimals. Since we're adding, putting the zero here isn't super important, but let's just do it, just out of habit. Zero plus nine is nine. Six plus three is nine. Bring down my decimal. Five plus one is six. So we end up with 6.99. Our directions don't say to round to the nearest anything. So this is our answer. Cool. Simplify using the order of operations. Once again, I hope you see that we have a parentheses here, so we need to do that first. So in the parentheses, it says 3.8 minus 2.8. Do you notice that I lined up my decimals? 8 minus 8 is 0. Bring down my decimal. 3 minus 2 is 1. All right, well, let's put it in there. We'll have 9.5 plus 1.0 times 14.4. Now orders of operations say we have to multiply divide before we add and subtract. Well hopefully you know this but 14.4 times 1.0 well 14.4 times 1 is itself 14.4. So let's rewrite it. 9.5 plus 14.4 all right, so it looks like the only thing left is to add. So let's do it. 9. Hopefully you see that I lined up my decimals. All right, so let's add. 5 plus 4 is 9. Bring down my decimal. 4 plus 9 is 13. 1 plus 1 is 2. Great! It looks like our answer is 23.9. Now let's look at the question. It doesn't say anything about rounding. So this is it. Great. Find the perimeter of or distance around the given figure by adding the lengths of the sides. Remember, perimeter is when we add all the sides up. So let's do that. We're going to have 1.7 plus 0 0.96, then 1.815. Do you see that I'm lining my decimals up? 2.162, 1.4, 0.72, and then 2. Remember, 2 is the same thing as 2.0. So I'm going to put it here. Let's just double check that we have all our numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers. All right, let's add. In this case, it's going to help us if we start putting some zeros in here. One reason I do this is just to make sure that I add everything in this column. So I'm going to add everything in this column. So 5 plus 2 is 7. Let's look at our next column. 
And this is where students will get tripped up all the time because they start adding from a different column. So let's start adding. 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 6 is 13, plus 2 is 15. Carry the 1 and add it here. Okay, so we have a lot of numbers in here, so let's just add these on the side. 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 plus 9 is 17, plus 8, okay, so we have 15, 25, 1 plus 4 is 5, okay, so we have 30 plus 7, so we end up with 37, 7 goes here, we're going to bring up our 3, remember to bring down our decimal. We're going to add our last column. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so let's see if that, oh, here it is. Awesome. Remember, this is inches. Perfect. Hopefully this will help you. Now remember, if you have any questions, please see your instructor or a tutor. We're always there to help you.